It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. Hey guys, Tyler here. In response to the recent events that I can respond to in regards to Cori Bush, Here's the exact quotation that comes directly from George Orwell's Animal Farm. All animals are equal, but some animals are more equal than others. So what does this quotation have to do with Cori Bush? As you guys probably know, Cori Bush was a Black Lives Matter activist before she became a congresswoman. And obviously, of course, she is in favor of defunding the police like most Black Lives Matter supporters. During the course of the interview, it seemed as though that she showed her own personal hypocrisy about defunding the police and having private security guards. And so without further hesitation, let's take a look. Campaign records show that you spent roughly $70,000 on, on private security, and some critics say um, that move is hypocritical. Um, what's your response to those critics? They would rather I die? You would rather me die? Is that what you want to see? You want to see me die? You know, because that could be the alternative. So either I spent seventy thousand dollars on private security over the last few months, and I'm here standing, here standing now, and able to speak, able to help save eleven million people from being evicted, or I could possibly have a death attempt on my life. As you guys can clearly see, it seems as though that Cory Bush is taking a very hypocritical stance. On one hand. She wants to defund the police, meaning that she does not want the funds to be towards police officers, to have less officers in the street. And also at the same time, wants her own personal bodyguards because she feels unsafe because reasons. Although many of these Black Lives Matter supporters outright call for the abolishment or defunding the police, many of them don't take into consideration, of course, the drastic effects of defunding the police would actually have in a crime-ridden area. This comes directly from the Wall Street Journal. City of Reverse is funding the police amidst rising crime, an increase in crime, new fund from the economic revival, and federal stimulus dollars spur cities to recent cuts. One year after the movement to defund law enforcement began to upspring multitude budgets, many American cities are restoring money to their police departments or proposing to spend more. In New York City, Mayor Bill Obrasco said he would reinstate $92 million for a new president after scrapping the project last summer. The mayor of Baltimore, who led efforts as a city councilman to cut the police budget by $22 million last year, recently proposed a $27 million increase. After attacks on Asian Americans and a rise in homicides in Oakland, California, state lawmakers in April restore 3.3 million of the 29 million in police cuts, and the mayor is now proposing an increase to the budget by $24 million. LA Mayor has proposed an increase to about $50 million after the city cut $150 million from the police department last year. Many U.S. cities are led by Democrats who supported protesters' call to defund the police, a term that activists have used in different ways including to push for simply shrinking the size of police forces, but also swifting resources from law enforcement to social services. The demos, led by Black Lives Matter and ally groups, followed by the murder of George Floyd last year. But city officials have found it difficult to keep police budgets down after seeing a rise in crime over the past year, with murder rates up to double digits in many cities. In the last months of 2020, Homicides rose to 32% in cities with a population of at least 1 million, according to the FBI's quarterly uniform crime report. Law enforcement officials and criminologists say pandemic stress and police pullback amidst protests are likely contributors. In conclusion, by defunding the police, according to that article that was done by the Wall Street Journal, they actually have some sort of dire consequences by having a rise in crime levels because they cut the budgets from the police stations in those cities. Also, if you guys want a really, really extreme example of just outright abolishing the police, look no further than that autonomous zone where pretty much they outright got rid of the police entirely 
and obviously it was said that it has the largest crime rate out of any new quote unquote country. But wait guys, it gets better. It get really, really better. Well, besides the fact that a lot of these Black Lives Matter supporters outright advocate for the funding or the outright abolishment of police stations, naturally, there are those within the movement who also advocate to the abolishment of prisons. I am not even joking. We call it non-reformist reforms. The reforms that are going to get us closer to prison abolishment, those are the reforms that I'm most interested in. A reform to stop a jail and build a hospital is a great reform. We're not going to just be able to get rid of prisons in one night overnight. It's going to be a process. This quotation, by the way, comes directly from Caprice Colors, the same exact person for Black Lives Matter who also bought all those mansions. And also the same person who said that she was an outright Marxist. So this sort of crazy utopia for Black Lives Matter supporters, there's like no police, there's like no prisons, no jails, and so the rapists and the murderers should go off on the street really nilly and commit crimes and not face any type of consequences whatsoever because apparently the prison system should be abolished and that there should be no police but those who are security guards. This sort of idea to abolish the police and to get rid of prisons is some sort of Mad Max type of shit. I understand that there are some problems within the police station, within the prison system, I totally understand it. At the same time, by wanting to get rid of police, by wanting to get rid of prisons, you make a whole entire Antarctica world where basically no one actually faces consequences for their bad actions. And this type of utopia, how can somebody actually who is like poor could afford this type of security stuff? It would be like a whole entire like free for all or basically the people who could afford this stuff like the rich people of course could buy all the security guards while the rest of the people on the street are pretty much defenseless against those who want to commit crime against them. Also a common talking point for Democrats is the fact that they want some sort of gun control. Now normally for my channel I don't talk about that because this whole entire topic I'm not really, you know, familiar with. I need to do some more research for this topic before I give my own personal opinion about it. But let's just say for the sake of argument that the Democrats, and they did say it out loud, want to, you know, disarm the populace. Well, by disarming the populace, you actually make the people, you know, who are trying to go after the thugs and the other people that actually harm them become very defenseless. And so you will live in a society where there's like no law and order, no prisons, it's pretty much just free for all, and so you disarm the population, only those who are rich can, you know, just afford the security, so this whole entire idea is just pure anarchy. These ideas that I express in this video, as well as the other ideas that I criticize, are the main reasons why I cannot possibly support something like Black Lives Matter, because this type of ideas are just way, way too extreme for me to actually, you know, backed up. Because the ideas, of course, of Black Lives Mattering do in fact actually, you know, is a true idea. But at the same time, when you really take a critical eye behind the ideology behind this whole entire thing by many of these people, it's just really far out and really far left. But what do you guys think? Tell me in the comment section down below. And as always, I'll talk to you guys in the next video.
It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. 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 It's a